Hello everyone, and welcome to this uh, overdrive tutorial from the Jensen Memorial Library. I'm going to show you how you can get an overdrive account to work on an iPad. Uh, this also goes for most other tablets as well. So the first thing you want to do is to find the App Store. The App Store can be an icon on your iPad. Uh, here it's in the Utilities section. So it would be this blue uh, icon here with the white A. You click on that. And then you go over to the search on the bottom right. And then type in overdrive. And then you'll see this icon that is uh, dark blue with a big O on it. And for you, it might say get, but for mine, it's like a cloud with a down arrow. And it might prompt you to put in your passcode to download the app. That'd be normal. And then you press open. And you should also see, if you go back to home, that the overdrive icon is now on your home screen. Okay, now you can press this sign up button. And then you want to press the red button that says sign up using library card. And then you enter in a library name. Our library's name is Jensen Memorial Library. I can just type in Jensen and it's the second result here that says Jensen Memorial Library. Yours might come up as first. I've tried on a few other iPads that came up as first, but sometimes it's like the second or third. But is press the Jensen Memorial Library. It's supposed to direct you over to the next page. There we go. And then it's going to ask you again which library you're from. I know, a bit redundant, but it's, it's okay. Jensen Memorial Library. The list was alphabetical. And then you type in your card number. Now it's important to note that your phone number uh, will just be the numbers itself. There will not be hyphens or dashes in between them. You just type in the number straight that you have on your account. If you by chance do not have a phone number uh, assigned to your account, then feel free to call in and we'll will update your uh, account settings to reflect that. Now, now that you signed in, you can go over to the Nebraska Overdrive by pressing this plus add a title button. And then press sign in again. I know there's like so many places you have to sign in, but it's worth it. And then Jensen Memorial Library. And then just type in the same things you had done before. Okay, so now that you signed in, you can now type in any book up here. See if it's available. I'm going to type in James Patterson. And then I'm going to find a book that I want. Find like. Yes, second chance here looks fun. Lightning and stuff. Hmm. That was strange. Oh, I probably accidentally pressed the author name instead. Just click on the book cover. And go private London this time. Okay, and then there'll be this green button that says borrow. I'm going to press that borrow button, and then it'll ask me how long I want to borrow, and I can go up to 21 days. And borrow. And then you press this blue button that says download EPUB ebook. 
and it'll add the title in. Doesn't take that long to download, very quick. And then go to bookshelf, and there's your book. You can press that and read on. If you find the font size to be too small, there's these two A's down here when you tap the screen, and then you press the bigger A to make the, the text bigger, in case you just find it way too small. I like nice big, big words. Okay. Well, I hope that you like this a, uh, this service that the library is offering. And that about concludes this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, have a great day.